All right, so let's talk about uh, part two of um, the light setup using QLC Plus with a MIDI foot controller. And the advantage of using that is when we are performing live as a band, someone can use this as a pedal board to change all the lights around and do it on stage as long as uh, we got things documented. Uh, as you can see, I've got a bunch of labels on the foot switch. So let's kind of review the whole the whole setup here from the beginning. So you kind of see, and I'll talk about the parts here. So I'm using uh, QLC Plus that is running on the laptop right there. Uh, I've got that configured to control my lights with uh, DMX. I have purchased a little USB to DMX converter here. It is a... Uh, Yari Pro. I got it off of eBay. I think it was about 30 something dollars. Works great. You know, as you can see, it's USB and the computer comes out, and then it's an XLR cable that goes into your uh, DMX lights. And that's a, you know, like a mic cable, basically. Um, so there are other DMX cables. I have the type that use the XLR type cable. So that is the communication that comes out from the computer that controls the lights. The foot switch is this Art X15 Ultra Foot that I've had since the 1990s. I retired it for like 10 years. And then when I learned that QLC Plus could use a MIDI controller, I dragged the thing back out again and configured it, and it works. So it uh, sends MIDI out. It goes into the MIDI in here on an old, uh, this is a, yeah, Ederol, which is uh, now purchased by Roland. But it's called a, a UM1. It's a really old MIDI USB uh, interface. So pretty old. You have to do some special things to get that working in uh, Windows 10. But uh, any kind of USB would work for that. And what happens there is the, uh, the MIDI out comes from the foot switch into the MIDI in here. And then it talks through QLC Plus into your DMX. And then it sends out the DMX here. So that's kind of the components here. Let me show you uh, what's going on. So I've got two cameras here. One camera here is pointed to the uh, computer and the foot switch. And the other camera is uh, right here, pointing at a couple of uh, the lights. And you can see this is in complete disarray. I've uh, got a bunch of cables lying around from the last gig. I'm kind of unpacking from that and, and getting everything ready for my next show. So I've got the uh, MIDI foot controller working here. I'm going to um, click the blackout. So that's the, the blackout um, foot switch. So when you click on that, everything goes uh, blackout. You click it again to disengage. So this is my blue. And, and these are the settings that I've memorized. And, and maybe you can see it in the camera. But as I'm switching things, you'll see QLC Plus reacting to it. So that's my red. That's purple. That's a, a 300 millisecond chase. So it's kind of cool. You know, we, we can uh, uh, write down this, put it with the set list. So you know what, what light goes with... Uh, what song? A 500 millisecond chase. See, it's kind of doing its thing. 700, a little slower. 900. Uh, this one I've got for number nine is a, a 12 second chase. It takes a little while to cycle between them. So what I did was I set up uh, 20 of them. So now I'm going to the next patch, which is a 11 through 20. So I kept the blackout on always the first one and then audio always on the, the last one. So the audio is what, how we used to do it back in the old days before we had this controller. So you put on audio and, and it reacts to audio. So, so this one cycles between um, blue, yellow, and green. You can see I had to cycle the black out there to get it uh, back up. So this one's blue and red. Kind of cool. This one uh, is set. Uh, I'm not going to do it because uh, it, it requires all the lights, and I only have like four of them hooked up just to show this video. But uh, I configured it so half of them react to audio, and the other half are blue. Uh, the next setting is half of them react to audio, and then it's a red static cutter. Uh, and then variations on that through here. And then I've got a uh, 150 millisecond chase, which is, you know, that's pretty fast. Kind of going through a lot of colors there. 
And this one's doing between green and red, kind of a, you know, pulsating looking color there. And then this bank also has the audio at the last one. So number 20 here is uh, audio. And you can see it reacting to stuff. So I'm going to go back down to first bank, uh, to the blue. Uh, let's see. Let's go to 300 millisecond chase. So this is really going to come in handy in uh, future shows for us. Uh, I think uh, we're going to get our bass player to run it, but anybody in the band can do it uh, as long as they get a foot free and they can kind of look at a set list to go, oh, yeah, for that song, it's patch number three. So we don't have to have a, a DMX console. Um, we typically uh, don't have someone running lights for us, so this is really convenient. We've kind of upgraded from just having audio to having a very, you know, 20 different uh, scenes that we can cycle through depending on what we need. And then, uh, you know, when we end the song, we can do the, the blackout. Everything stops. And pick back up next set. Uh, so I'll just switch it again. So that's a 700 millisecond. Let's say we want 500 milliseconds. And there we go. Now it's time to cycle through. So QLC Plus, really great piece of software. I'm running on Windows 10. It runs on many operating systems. Uh, you need some USB interfaces to talk to your lights and to receive uh, the MIDI. And I know there's, there's lots of MIDI foot switches. I just happen to have this one left over from the 90s from my old guitar rig. And uh, I got this little, you know, DMX to uh, USB on eBay. Uh, these guys are on the, the list at QLC Plus as known uh, hardware um, compatible. So uh, definitely do that. Don't, don't buy ones that aren't listed on the QLC Plus website. Otherwise, you're kind of taking a gamble. So this is going to be really convenient for us. And uh, uh, pretty soon, uh, I'll have to... Uh, do a video of one of the gigs so you can see us kind of switching back and forth with this. But, uh, you know, definitely check out QLC Plus if you're looking for a way to automate your lights. And uh, you have a MIDI foot switch. You can do it from your feet, just like a, a guitar pedal board. And uh, you, you can really customize your lights for your shows. All right.